Hi, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com and in this video I will show you how to create AutoCAD Civil 3D Postal Curve Tables and this is uh, resulting from a question from a prior video I had done called Create AutoCAD Civil 3D Postals from Objects so let's switch over to Model Space and you can see that I in that video I created, I showed you how to create these parcels, and a viewer uh, asked, how do I create curve tables uh, using this data? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you can see here is we have a series of curves in these parcels, and they are labeled, though the labels aren't very elegant. There we go. Let's pull one off to the side. Okay. They are all labeled, and the first thing you need to know to create a curve table from parcel uh, curves is that they have to be in tag mode and not in label mode. So we will do that as we create the table. And that's a little bit of a manual process, but it's not too hard to do. So first thing is, if you are working with a version of Civil 3D that has the ribbon, you can switch to the Annotate tab. And then you see here there's a Labels and Tables, and we can add tables. We scroll down to Parcels, and we can add Curve Tables. So I'll put this in the notes, but it is a, a sort of an underscore, but it's ADD Parcel Curve Table. So add Parcel curve table, all one word, will also get you this table creation dialog box. And the first thing we, we can do is we can select the table style, which in this drawing I only have two styles available standard and uh, length, radius, and delta. Uh, obviously, we can update that later, or you can do that beforehand and what we can do is we're going to ignore some of this information over here about the table layers and the split tables that all can be changed later right now i just want to show you how to create the curve table the key thing here is we have uh, i think uh the best way of going about this is it says no tags selected so we click on the little box and then we can individually click on the curve labels in the drawing okay if you have a lot of them you could do a window to select and then right click and the first thing is going to come up and it says uh, the create table convert child style so it says the label styles have been selected that are not in tag mode what do you want to do and then a little note that says labels must be in tag mode in order to be included in a table. So we have a choice of convert all selected label styles to tag mode. And it says this will create a child style in tag mode for each selected label. Or we can uh, also select don't add labels that are not in tag mode. So if we had done like a crossing window to select all and we already had some labels that were in tag mode and others that weren't, but we didn't want to include the, the ones that weren't in tag mode in the, the table itself, then we might select the sep second object. But in this case, I think we, just to show you how this works, we're going to convert all of the selected label styles to tag mode. And so first thing you see is it shows 10 tags were selected and then all we have to do is select OK and then we just have to place the table where we want it in the drawing and I'll just zoom in and you can see that we created a curve table from the the parcels that I had uh, created in the Create AutoCAD Civil 3D Parcels from Objects video. So that's how you create a curve table from parcel um, curves. And if you have any questions,
questions, feel free to contact me. If you'd like to see other videos, let me know. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel and visit ericcolburn.com for additional Lance of Aang and AutoCAD Civil 3D uh, help videos and information. Thanks, work smart, and be brilliant.